live from downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, Special Edition. Well, we're taking a live look right now at Riverfront Park. It's the start of a very hot weekend here in the Inland Northwest. Good evening, I'm Jordan Smith. Thanks for joining us here on this special edition of 4 News Now. Right away, we're going to kick things over to meteorologist Matt Gray. Matt, scorching hot temperatures, especially downtown. It's gross out there, yeah. especially in downtown Spokane. Driving into the office today, you can really feel the heat, especially because I don't have air conditioning in my vehicle. And I'm sure a lot of you who don't have maybe as much air conditioning as maybe your neighbors do, you are really feeling it today. Downtown Spokane, all of that concrete adds a few degrees on to the temperatures and so it is feels or rather it is 99 in parts of downtown Spokane right now. Spokane Valley at 95 along with Liberty Lake. Coeur d'Alene not too far behind at 93. We're at 94 on the West Plains. So yeah, it's sizzling out there and this is just going to be the start of what's going to be a pretty hot weekend. Other areas that are super hot right now. Well, look at this. This is going to be the first of many triple digits. We're going to see this weekend in Ritzville at 100. OMAX at 98. We're at 98 in Lewiston as well. And all these areas are going to be at least flirting with the triple digits again tomorrow. And so that's why from OMAC to Moses Lake to Pomeroy, Lewiston, all the way to Orofino up at the Clearwater River, we have a heat advisory that will go until 8 o'clock tomorrow there and south to the Tri-Cities. We're talking about, well, anywhere between 96 to as high as 100, 101 degrees. We're going to be hot really early in the day, too. Not a lot of time to get things done while it is cool because we're going to be in the middle 80s before lunchtime, and we are going to be in the middle and upper 90s again around the metro for the afternoon. So hydration, staying inside during those hot times of the day, really important here as we head through the rest of the weekend. The good news is that this is not going to last for too much longer. We'll show you when it cools down. Coming up. That is a sound you might not want to hear if you're out on the water. All year round, the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office Marine Patrol guards 18 lakes and 56 miles of river in North Idaho. Operating a boat under the influence is known as an OUI, and right now Kootenai County has the most of those in all of Idaho. On top of that, this summer the Marine, the marine uh, Unit does not have enough staffing to fully patrol all this water. Our Bronte Swarovski rode along with an officer to see what they're dealing with out there on the water. Every summer, the Kootenai County Marine Patrol will issue about 500 violations. But if you see them out on the water this summer, their main goal is to educate the thousands of people that hit the lake every day. You see the police boat and you know you're violating the law. Usually you stop violating the law when you see it. But there's a lot of people, again, it's just the education, it's the inexperience. Sergeant Ryan Miller, Recreation Safety Supervisor, says the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office Marine Patrol Unit is already having a busy summer. Just last year, Kootenai County issued the most OUIs in the state, which is like a DUI in the water. And they're already heading back in that direction. And this year, we're already in the mid-30s, uh, and we're halfway through the season. That's why you might see one of these boats out on your next trip to the lake. And our numbers this year actually match what happened a couple years ago. Um, so not numbers that we want to have, but it's, number, it, it is our, uh, uh, it's our reality here. I even had the chance to join him on a patrol of Lake Coeur d'Alene. Hey, just no wake until after the bridge. Yep, thank you. While Sergeant Miller says having the Marine patrols is helping to deter bad behavior on the water, an issue the unit is facing this summer, staffing shortages, making it harder to keep everyone safe. Don't have the staffing to, to have all 18 lakes, 54 miles of river uh, staffed. Um, and I, I especially don't have uh, the ability to do that all the time. So we just try to go out when it's the busiest. And sometimes it's just him out patrolling the water. So if you do see the patrols out on your next boat trip, they say they're there to educate and keep you safe. Reporting on Lake Coeur d'Alene, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. And another reminder to stay safe on the waters. These temperatures are on the rise. Bronte, thanks for that. And the Kootenai County Sheriff's Office says that 50% of water citations and arrests over the holiday weekend were issued to people who were from out of state. In total, there were 34 arrests and citations on the water, ranging from no wake zones to OUIs. At on land, there were 97 people arrested between Friday and Wednesday. He said those numbers are consistent to what they normally see on holiday weekends, 
In the data presented by Sheriff Norris, he broke down the incidents by which state the people were involved from. He's hoping this data leads to additional taxes that target tourists who are utilizing law enforcement services over in Kootenai County. Well, it, it stresses our patrol force and our Marine force significantly. So we would like to have conversations with the governor of Idaho and the legislature of Idaho to consider local option taxing because many of the users of law enforcement services, not only in this holiday weekend, but generally, they are not the property tax owner. And right now, Coeur d'Alene only has a flat local sales tax of 6%. And we did reach out to Coeur d'Alene's mayor to see if implementing a tourism-focused tax is something he might consider, but he did not have a comment. A new development here tonight in the University of Idaho murder case. The University of Idaho now has consent from prosecutors and the defense attorney to tear down the home where four University of Idaho students were murdered. According to CNN, the University of Idaho does not exactly know when demolition will happen. Shannon Gray, the attorney for Kaylee Gonsalves' family, says the family does not want the house torn down until after the trial of Brian Koberger, the man accused of the murder. Latal County Prosecutor Bill Thompson has stated in emails to the university that, quote, the scene has been substantially altered since the homicides. Well, North Idaho College will keep its accreditation, at least for now. That's according to the decision from the Northwest Commission of Colleges and Universities. NIC is calling this a neutral decision, meaning no real changes have been made and they could still lose their accreditation. The commission also gave a list of improvements NIC needs to make, and those include residential procedures and retention, financial transparency, and adhering to existing shared governing structures. The commission will visit North Idaho College several times over the next few years. The college has until April 1st of 2025 to return to good standing where the school will lose accreditation. For a list of recommendations from the commissions, the college should also be considering. Look for this story on KXLY.com. Well, if your teen's plans this summer include shopping at Riverfront Square, maybe catching a movie at the theater, or grabbing a bite to eat, that's exactly what they'll get to do while volunteering with the Isaac Foundation, which works with kids on the autism spectrum. The foundation works with neurodivergent people on the autism spectrum, and volunteers help those in need enjoy their favorite activities like going to the movies or hanging out at the park. Our neurodiverse youth need some supports to help get there and to plan it out and navigate some of those experiences. And we have found that some of our neurotypical youth also need some support in practicing those skills. And this summer, they're looking for 13 to 18 year olds who can peer mentor. It's why kids like Emily Gran, a soon to be eighth grader, are psyched for their summer. I think just being able to go around town and learn together and be able to do experiences that I might not do otherwise. And again, anybody 13 through 18 years old can apply for this. And for more information, the story is on our website, kxly.com. More American women than ever before are back to work. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports nearly 77.8% of women between the ages of 25 and 54 were in the workforce last month. And that's an all-time high and a rebound from the pandemic uh, recession, where the rate plummeted to 73.5% in April of 2020, uh, 2020. And so much of life feels like it's back to normal after the COVID pandemic. But for many people, the lockdown triggered job losses, career switches, and more people are finding creative ways to get their bills paid. We want to hear from you. Did you lose your job when COVID hit? Are you still looking for work here in 2023? We want you to share your story with us. You can do that on KXLY.com. Still to come here on 4 News Now, special edition. Planning on seeing your favorite artist? Well, ticket scammers might leave you high and dry. Coming up, we'll tell you what to look out for when you're buying your next concert ticket. Plus, it's been over 500 days since war broke out in Ukraine. The global impact coming up. And it's hot out there, friends, as we head through this evening. Find any ways to stay cool or at least give it a try to open up the windows, air out the house, because we got another hot one on tap for tomorrow. In fact, should be the hottest day of 2023 thus far. Coming up, I'll show you how long this hot weather is expected to last in your first alert forecast. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, Plumbing.
At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Fred's 4th of July sale is on now. Get the best buy of the year on Samsung laundry sets. Fred's has this Samsung laundry set marked down to only $7.29 each. Save $400 on the set. Or save 30% on this Samsung front load laundry set. Fred's has front load laundry sets in stock and on sale. Nobody has the selection you'll see with one stop at Fred's Appliance. Fred's 4th of July sale is on now. You don't want to miss this sale. My late father-in-law lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had AMD. I didn't know it then, but it can progress to GA, an advanced form of the disease. His struggle with vision loss from AMD made me want to help you see warning signs of GA, like straight lines that seem wavy, blurry or missing visual spots that make it hard to see faces, like this one, or trouble with low light. That makes driving at night a real challenge. If you've been diagnosed with AMD and notice vision changes, don't wait. GA is irreversible. It's important to catch it early. Talk to your eye doctor about GA and learn more at gawontwait.com. Get ready for a brand new season of Collector's Call with all new collections. Sundays on MeTV, over the air on KXLY 4.2, Comcast 114, and Spectrum 917 and 181. Talk about fireworks. Check out these offers during the extended 4th of July sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Save up to $300 on our Denver Mattress brand lineup, like the Factory Direct Summit, now only $299.99. Purchase a Tempur-Pedic and score a $300 gift, plus five years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended 4th of July sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. Welcome back. Today marks 500 days since Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The UN is reporting that more than 9,000 civilians have been killed in Ukraine since the war began. And another 15,000 people have been injured. The UN also says that there are nearly 6 million people inter uh, internally displaced in the country and that almost 8 million Ukrainian refugees have been recorded in neighboring nations and across Europe. And we'll turn now to your forecast. It is a sizzling Saturday, and it's going to be even a, well, sizzlinger Sunday. 94 right now in Spokane. Coeur d'Alene's at 92. Lots of sunshine, but man, it is hot out there, and it is going to be fairly unpleasant. By the way, uh, we always tell people, hey, don't walk your dogs on the pavement during these hot days like this. Here's the reason why. We're talking about uh, road and sidewalk temperatures in the 120, 130 degree range. So one of the reasons besides that it's just really unpleasant outside that you got to get things done like dog walking either early in the morning or late in the evening. Not going to be a lot of opportunities there because we're going to heat up super quick as we headed to tomorrow. More stuffy and warm conditions for the next couple of nights as well where we're going to be struggling to push our way down to the 60s in many areas. Cooler weather though arrives from Monday, but also a higher chance for some storms and some other complications in there too. So we'll talk about that, but let's take a look at the radar picture because there are some isolated storms trying to get themselves going. In fact, you can see right there in northern Grant County, we've got one little storm. We've been keeping an eye out on some other cells have been trying to get going mainly in the Kettle Range on either side of Lake Roosevelt, right just to the west of Valley. You're likely seeing some darkening skies there. Perhaps you'll hear a rumble of thunder, but I don't think this will be uh, coming off the mountains. These storms just too weak to get anything done. We saw some sprinkles and some building clouds around the Wallace area as well earlier today. Things are on the quiet side, so I really think that very few of us are going to be seeing any storm action this evening. As we head into the afternoon tomorrow, looking around the North Cascades, into the Kettle Range in Okanagan County again, we'll be watching those storms pop up through the day. Maybe some relief for those of you along the Okanagan River who are going to be seeing those triple digits tomorrow afternoon. 
Maybe some relief there with some clouds and uh, hopefully some wetting rain and not just lightning out of this. That is your day. We are going to stay dry in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Really mild temperatures. Look at all the 70s for lows on the board here. Spokane's only down to 66. Coeur d'Alene is only down to 64. And then here's the big stuff here. 100 in Grand Coulee, Moses Lake. Lewiston gets to 105. We're going to be right up near 100 in Omac. Spokane hits 96. Coeur d'Alene hits 95. But remember, we got that urban heat island effect in the downtown area. And so from Liberty Lake into downtown, we're talking about upper 90s and even some upper 90s in places like Mead, mid 90s across the Rathdrum Prairie. So yeah, do whatever you can, friends, to stay cool, stay in the shade, because you're going to need it for tomorrow. Relief comes, a 10 degree drop, but still in the upper 80s. Lightning strikes and a chance for some afternoon thunderstorms on Monday. Could mean some fire danger that we have to keep an eye on Monday afternoon and evening. Cooler weather in the 80s until we heat up again next weekend. Well, and with those hot, dry conditions, we do want to remind you that fire restrictions are in place on recreational lands in eastern Washington, and that applies to campfires and to target shooting. And you're also not allowed to smoke on public lands. For a full list of restrictions, look for this story on KXLY.com. An alert as the summer concert season kicks into high gear with stars like Beyonce taking to the stage. Ticket scammers are out there ready to spoil your big night out. ABC's Faith Ababa, uh, excuse me, Faith Abube is here with more. Beyonce's Renaissance Tour set to kick off its North American leg tonight. And many in the Beehive still swarming to snag one of the hottest tickets this summer. But the Better Business Bureau warning buyer beware of scammers out to get diehard fans willing to do anything to secure those premium tickets. The BBB telling ABC News that since January 2022, they've received just over 23,000 ticket complaints for various events. That is not normal. Uh, that is an enormous figure. And it's not just the Queen Bee's fans at risk. Missouri's Attorney General also warning Swifties to be wary of suspicious ticket sales as Taylor Swift's concert kicks off in Kansas City, Missouri this weekend. For Kevin, Adrian, and their daughter Elsa, that warning coming a little too late. I was really excited to go, um, looking forward to going to her concert. But instead, the Taylor Swift superfan and her family say they lost $1,000 to a Facebook scammer. We asked that mutual friend if this guy was legit, if the tickets were legit, and he messaged him and said yes. So we started with the 1000 and then he just left. So we messaged the friend we had in common, and he said his Facebook account got hacked. It wasn't him. So we contacted Venmo right away, but there was nothing they could do. The BBB says you can protect yourself by being cautious about buying tickets through social media ads. Buy only from trusted vendors or directly from the venue whenever possible. And use payment methods that come with protection, like credit cards. There are a lot of folks who are looking to go to a concert, go to a sporting event, go to a festival. And unfortunately, there are also a lot of folks who are looking to cash in on that enormous market. And going back to Elsa's story, she was in the ICU battling leukemia just before that scammer took off with the money for the Taylor Swift concert ticket. But a good Samaritan heard her story and decided to gift her two new concert tickets, meaning tonight she'll be in that stadium when Taylor Swift performs in Kansas City. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News. Well, happy ending to that story there and definitely something to be aware of. Meantime, 17 states, including Washington, could catch a glimpse of the northern lights next Thursday. That's July 13th. The Space Weather Prediction Center says if you are interested in seeing them, you should get away from the city lights. As the day approaches, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will monitor the activity and release a forecast of its very own. Coming up in sports, we're just a couple of weeks away from the 2023 FIFA World Cup. And for Team USA, this will be the last tournament with one of their all-time greats. Coming up here, Alex Crescenti tells us what big announcement Megan Rapino made this morning. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Fred Meyer, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. 
ABC's World News Tonight and 4 News Now. The team you trust here at home, across the nation and the world. When you need information fast. The crash closed I-90. When the local story is national news. Those four college students murdered in Idaho. When national stories hit home. We asked Spokane Police if it has a similar task force. Watch ABC World News Tonight at 5.30. And 4 News Now at 6 with Kirsten O'Connor and Aaron Luna. That's what we mean when we say expect more. From the very beginning, we've been taught safety is very important. It's an act of love. When we're on the road, every action we take gets everyone to a safer place. Each of us can make a difference. Slow down. Ride sober. Get endorsed. Get training. Alone, we are strong. Together, we are stronger. And together, we get there. Where should I walk? Right here? This is good. Yeah, you can walk right there. This is your show. Do yeah. whatever you want. You walk in. It's live with Kelly and Mark. Wow, that was a nice reception. New research suggests that French fries may be linked to depression. No. I experience euphoria upon eating fries. Euphoria. Elation. All the E's. Every weekday morning. That's right. It all goes down on Daytime's number one talk show. Yeah, of course that. All that. <laughs> We're sitting on a couch with the new co-host of the Van Wyer yes. team. <laughs> Watch live with Kelly and Mark, weekdays at 9 a.m., only on 4 News Now. Fresh produce is the best produce. That's why at Fred Meyer, we invest in local farmers to bring you the freshest seasonal picks. So no matter how you shop, your local produce always tastes as fresh as it gets. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. 4 News Now is brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Casino Resort Hotel. Well, we're about to enter the quietest week of the sports calendar after the MLB All-Star Game. It'll be a few days without any major sports, so that means it's a perfect time to get excited for football, and we are so close now. And the Washington State head coach, Jake Dickert, knows that as well. His players are going to be returning to campus this weekend to ramp up for fall camp, which starts on Tuesday, August the 2nd. This is Dickert's second full season as head coach of the Kooks, and they're coming off a year in which they made their seventh straight bowl appearance, but this upcoming season is going to look a lot different compared to those in previous years, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing. One thing I strive for is feedback from the players. We got a really strong leadership group and a leadership council. And hey, what'd you guys like? What didn't you, didn't you like? What, what are some ways we can improve both on the field and off the field with schedule? We're doing some more things at night. You know, I think you study the trends. We weren't great in night games last year. We had to sit around all day and create our own energy. So we're going to do replicate some of those situations and scenarios during fall camp and, you know, find different ways to give them breaks and test them mentally, physically. But more importantly, fall camp's a big deal to get them situationally ready for the season. Now, Washington State was 1-3 in night games this past season. But, again, fall camp starts in on August 2nd, just a few days away. And don't look now, but the Seattle Mariners may be finally turning the corner. If you remember, this time last year is where they got red hot and went on a 14-game winning streak. That's what eventually propelled them into the playoffs. Now, last night, the M's absolutely took it to the Houston Astros, winning by a record, uh, a score of 10-1 to and have now won six of their last seven games. That victory also pushes them to above 500 for the first time since late May. So if they can win again tonight or tomorrow, that'll be three series wins in a row headed into the All-Star break. Exactly what you need. And checking in on the score, they are losing currently down in Houston to the uh, Astros right now, still early on there in the third inning. And we're less than two weeks away from the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup, kicking off down in Australia and New Zealand. And once again, the United States are heavy favorites to win the tournament, but this will also be the last ride for one of the all-time greats. Today, Megan Rapino announced she will retire at the end of the 2023 season. The 38-year-old veteran has won two World Cups with the United States and will play her final regular season game with Seattle's OL Reign on October 6. Internationally, Rapino has 199 caps, 63 goals, 73 assists, and was the 2019 FIFA Women's Player of the Year. But after a career like that, that spanned over 20 years, it's time to hang it up. So I feel 
very grateful that I'm that I'm here and that I have the trust of this team and uh, that my body has held up this long to be able to do this. So just wanted to do it now and honestly kind of get it out of the way before we go down to New Zealand so we can focus on uh, the task at hand, which is winning another World Cup. Rapino, WSU's Trinity Rodman and Team USA will open up World Cup play against Vietnam on July 21st. Pretty safe to assume they're going to win that game. For News Now, we'll be right back. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. The extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row is on now, and the savings are explosive. Best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, plus five years, no interest. But hurry, the extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends soon. It's wildfire season, and 4 News Now, first alert weather is more important than ever. Bone dry vegetation, lightning strikes, sudden winds. With conditions so volatile and so much at stake, every second counts. Wildfire warnings to evacuation orders to the all clear. Trust the 4 News Now, first alert weather team to keep you safe. Alerting you first. On air, online, and on the go with the 4 News Now app. Protecting you and your family. That's what we mean when we say expect more. Tony, your parents know you're over here again, right? Yep. Great. Tony lives next door. See, his parents decided to just use their phone for home internet. So when everyone is on, Tony's over here streaming. And drinking all my soda. My dog. Get internet on the Xfinity 10G network for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. We're going to bed, Tony. Good night. I'll lock up if I leave. Get real home internet on the next generation 10G network only from Xfinity. Watching. The Beverly Hillbillies. Can't you tune it in better than that? Granny loves her Me TV. Let's get the television warmed up. Watch Me TV weeknights at 9 on KXLY 4.2. You expect more from local news. 4 News Now delivers. It's to get you the information you need to plan your day. We begin with breaking news and the breaking news you need to keep your family safe. That's what we mean when we say expect more. The extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row is on now, and the savings are explosive. Best of all, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend, plus five years, no interest. But hurry, the extended 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends soon. 4 News Now is brought to you by Burke's Restoration. Well, tomorrow... Well, let's put it this way. Afternoon, not going to be fun. Mm. Stay cool, friends, because that's some serious heat. Even without widespread 100s, there are going to be some 100s on the board, though, for tomorrow in the Columbia Basin in the LC oh, Valley. Man. So, hey, stay cool out there, friends. It'll be a lot better come Monday. Yeah, stock up on that lemonade, man. It's going to be serious. Stay indoors. See you tomorrow. Download the 4 News Now app today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.